All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Brockathea Howard, Brockathea Howard Shai, Brockathea Howard, Brockathea Howard Shai, Brockathea Howard, Brockathea Howard Shai. Call her Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and who taught me this truth. And I shalom to you, Sincere Akiam, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And I shalom to the few Sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. All right. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this uh, lesson or this video. Lord is willing, it'll be, it'll be edifying. And as usual, I'm going to go in the uh, Rakal Kodash. Um, it's going to be real quick. I just got a quick video, and I'm pretty sure y'all have seen it already. But uh, I had to uh, <laughs> had to had to re, re uh, do a re-upload a response with a quick scripture. I mean, there's a plethora of scriptures I could bring out, but I'm gonna just I'm gonna just bring out one, you know, straight to the point. Says it all. And um, hey, beautiful beautiful times we're living in, man. 2020 definitely is the year of prophecy, as uh, Elder Apostle Tahar coined it, man. Definitely, the Rakakwa Dash, the spirit was definitely supping with Elder Apostle Tahar, man. On point, spot on. Prophecies are screaming, popping off like popcorn, man. Oh, for the record, today's date is February, uh, not February, it's like you. May 8th, 2020, the year of prophecy. May 8th, 2020, the year of prophecy. And uh, let's get it. Um, I'm not going to play I'm not gonna play the video first. I'm going to bring out a scripture, and I'm going to play the video, then I'm going to close out with the scripture again. All right? So you're going to hear the scripture twice. So this is... um. The title of the, the video is, it's off of World Star Hip Hop, alright, um, it's how, it says how TF, meaning how the fuck am I supposed to care for my kids, single question mark, how the fuck am I supposed to care for my kids, question mark, single mom has a meltdown over quarantine shutdown, okay, so before I bring that out, before I play this uh, video, because I'm pretty sure y'all have already seen it, alright, I'm going to start with a scripture, and I'm, I'm going to close out with the scripture also, okay? This is Isaiah 32 and 9, okay? Isaiah chapter 32, verse 9. It says, Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail. The gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare. And gird sackcloth upon your loins. The, it says, They shall lament for the teats, for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. Okay? They're going to lament for the teat, man. They're going to be begging, begging for these benefits. Okay? Basically, that's what this is saying. Okay, you careless women. I'm going I'm to I'm come back to this again. But you careless women, we in them times, man. Your child support, the government, you trust in Egypt, you trust in the oppressor, you trust in the enemy. Okay? Your child support, your, your food stamps, all your benefits, your Section 8. Okay? Your stimulus checks. Hey, the Yahweh Shem Yahweh said they're going to fail, man. Okay? You're going to lament for the teach. You're going to be looking for them, for them benefits. Okay, because the teats represent the breast, nourishment, okay? You're going to be looking for aid, looking for help, okay? You ain't going to find it, okay? Hey, per Micah, you're going to be trodden down as a mire in the street, and shame is going to cover you, man, okay? You careless daughters, not talking about the sincere Aquath, because there's, there, there, there's a few, few in between. There, there are not many, but there are few sincere women out there, man, but they're far in, far in, far in between, man. They're like rubies, man, okay? You know? So, uh, like I said, how the fuck am I supposed to care for my kids? Single mom has a meltdown over quarantine shutdown, okay? I'm going to play the vet the video, then I'll close it back out with the scripture again. And I'm out of here, all right? Governor Laura Kelly. Governor Lucas. Governor. Governors. President, who the fuck ever y'all want to call, number 45, all of y'all, I just want to know, bro, I'm so fucking stressed out because y'all got every fucking place closed and people can't fucking work and shit, I just want to know, I want to fucking know, bro, place right here, the Kansas driver license place, how is this not essential, bro, how is this place not essential, y'all know what, 
Y'all know what? Look. Look, y'all. I went to work. Orientation for my new job, okay? Guess what? Guess fucking what, bro? Because I'm on the point of my breaking point. Like, the fucking government is so stupid to me. I just, I'm stressed out to the fucking max because I'm not rich like you motherfuckers, okay? I'm not rich like y'all. I just want to fucking know, bro. I can't go to work because my motherfucking stupid ass ID is fucking expired. This place is not considered essential at all. The driver's license place. But this motherfucking place over here with people full with fucking cars and shit, this is essential. Fast food is essential, but this place ain't. DCF ain't essential, but fast food is essential. The fuck? The courthouse ain't essential, but fast food is essential. I want to know how, bro. I can't even go visit the motherfucking doctor because they ain't essential. The fuck? They ain't taking new patients, but y'all can have Slim Chickens and, and fucking McDonald's open. How the fuck is that essential, bro? I can't go to work. Y'all won't give me no stimulus money. DCF ain't returning no calls to give me no punk ass food stamps. How the fuck am I supposed to take care of my kids? Because y'all got all the essential shit shut down and all un unnecessary shit open. This shit is stupid, bro. I'm not no worthless ass bitch, bro. I gotta figure out how to take care of my kids and I can't do that shit with the whole fucking world closed down, but y'all got fucking dumbass slim chickens open and fucking, bro. I've been calling DCF every motherfucking day to try to get some motherfucking food stamps. Unemployment ain't doing shit. DCF ain't doing shit. I ain't got no motherfucking job because I want to fire people and then not let motherfucking driver's license place be open and fucking slim chickens are open. God damn! Fucking stressed out to the max, and I ain't even no fucking punk ass car, baby. I just want to know how the fucking slim chicken is essential, but the driver's license place ain't. It don't make no sense to me. How the fuck is school not essential, but McDonald's is? I'm fucking sick of this shit. Somebody needs to tag the fucking news, the fucking stupid ass governors. I want to know how the fuck is Slim Chicken's essential, but the fucking driver's license place ain't. DCF ain't. I've been calling DCF for a fucking week. <laughs> like, bro, I don't got it like that. I'm fucking stressed out. I got babies I need to take care of, and I can't even go to work because my fucking punk ass ID is expired. <laughs> And these motherfuckers ain't open. You got to do this shit online. And guess what? That takes 45 days for them to send you an ID. And the fucking people ain't going to hold my job for 45 fucking days. Bro. What y'all want to say? Be calm. Be calm, bro. Fuck this. I'm glad y'all got y'all motherfucking stimulus check because guess what? I can't because I got a punk ass brother who likes to use my kids as social security numbers and I can't get shit. All right, enough of that, man. Enough of that. Enough of that. Again, back to the scriptures. Don't nobody feel sorry for y'all, man. Don't nobody feel not as, uh, not no men of the Lord, okay? you getting that judgment. That's judgment from me. How about you, me? I was shy. And you ain't seen nothing yet. That's why seven women is going to take hold of one man, okay? Okay, that we're going to be precious, man. All we got to do is hold on. Our stock value, righteous men, are about to increase, go through the roof, man, <clears throat> okay? These two-thirds, these these sorry-ass uh, men, they're going to go off in the wars, get killed off, get drafted off, you see? You know, get shot down in the race wars, so on and so forth, you see? These women, they're going to be looking for men, righteous men, okay? To, to, to hide from that destruction, that tribulation, that anguish, okay, you see, you see, and you could tell, she, she, she was, she, 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 hey, it says that she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth, man, okay, you could tell she probably was li living, living it up, you know, that's why I said careless, okay, careless, you careless women, you ain't give a shit, you was living your life, you know, living your best life probably, you know, you got a bunch of kids, you know, probably by different baby daddies, you know. Now you want to call child support, you know. Now you want to take get a, get a motherfucker hemmed up, you know. Oh, the courthouse ain't essential. The court the court ain't essential. Court ain't the school ain't essential because you want somebody to watch your badass baby kids, okay? You see, and you was careless.
Because you've been, you're, all, all our driver's license have an expiration date on it. You've been new, your driver's license was about to expire. It expires on your fucking birthday. So you've been new, but you was careless. Okay? You see? But guess what? The gathering ain't gonna come. That's we in them times. It's beautiful times. Okay? And, and it's, it's beautiful time because right now you probably got some Captain save a nigga. You know, black woman is God. Two-third coon gonna come and try to save her. But, hey, the time is going to come when, hey, they ain't going to be paying you no mind either. Okay? All right? It's beautiful times. Your pa. Your pa times we're living in, man. Okay? All we got to do is hold on. Okay? It says Isaiah 32 and 9 again. Straight out of Yahweh Shai's. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's mouth, man. Straight out of the scriptures. These aren't my words, man. Okay? This is the Lord to hear my voice. Okay? Through what? Through his men, the prophets, the men of the Lord. Out there sighing and crying for all the abominations done therein, man, okay, the Lord said he created a new thing in the, in, in the earth, man, a, a woman shall come past a man, you know, a woman is not supposed to usurp authority over a man, but in this kingdom, in, in this society, you women have all the damn power, especially once you have children, and you use it as a weapon, you use sex as a weapon, and you use the children as a weapon, and you, you use Esau Edom as a weapon, okay, and hey, guess what? Hey, the time is coming with Esau Edom finna turn on your ass also. Okay? You see? Beautiful. Isaiah 32 and 9. Okay? It says, rise up. That's why they're going to eat your children. Like I brought out in the last lesson I did. The two women that, that made the deal to cook their sons, to boil their sons. We in them times, man. Okay? It's going to get much worse. You ain't seen nothing yet. This is just the beginning. Okay? This is just your how about you, how was shy clearing his throat. Okay? Shit about to turn up. It's going to be a real hot summer. Talking about it's a hot girl summer. It's about to be a real hot summer on your ass. Okay? Hey, that's why the scripture said, Woe to them that give suck in them days, man. Okay? It says, Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Okay? It says, Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Yeah, you women are at fucking ease. Okay? Because you, you could just put a man away and just jump to the next rod. Just go to Esau, eat him to get all the help you want. You could just shit on your man, you know? You can just do whatever the hell you want, man, because you know this is your kingdom, okay? But guess what? You're coming into our kingdom, okay? Which is which is the kingdom of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And by by ear, by uh default, we are joint ears with Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And there's an order to things, all right? And you women going to be put in your fucking place in the proper order, okay? Which is underneath the man, okay? Not above, okay? So it says, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice. Ye careless daughters, give ear unto my speech. It says, many days and years shall ye be troubled. And that woman was troubled. She was stressed out. It says, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail. Yeah, the vintage, and not to mention your, your looks, okay? And the times we're coming into, ain't nobody going to give a fuck about how, how fine you are and how, you know? And then we know, ain't nobody going to care about that, okay? Be, being being attractive in, 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 during Jacob's trouble for a woman is not going to be a good thing. Because you're going to be ravished. You're going to be raped. Okay? You know? So that also goes into the vintage feeling, man. Okay? You know? So it says, Many days and years shall you be troubled, you careless women. For the vintage shall fail. The gathering shall not come. It says, Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Okay? It says, Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare. And gird sackcloth upon your loins. Yeah, because it's time for you to suffer. Okay, the men, the men of the Lord, and, and not even and just men in general, we've been suffering. Okay, this this place is ho this this place is horrible on a man. Okay, you see, you're not even allowed to do. We uh, how about how Shai told us to be fruitful and multiply. You know, a man can have as many women as he wants. You know, as long as he's doing it righteously in the proper order. Okay, but you're not even allowed to do to do that as a man. You know, this place just completely oppresses a man. Okay, and, and, and meanwhile, a woman can just jump from rod to rod and, and ride the so-called dick carousel, as Elder Apostle Kabar says, okay? You see, they're careless, okay? They, they, they wander on and wanton, stretch forth next, okay? You see? It says, tremble, you women that are at ease, be troubled, you careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird slack, sackcloth upon your loins. It says, they shall lament for the teats. For the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine, okay? Hey, that's beautiful. That's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We're in them times, man. Judgment, okay? Judgment. 
Hey, anyway, like I said, I wasn't going to make this too long. Straight, straight forward and to the point that that scripture, Isaiah 32, pretty much breaks itself down. And I could bring out uh, many more scriptures, okay? Many more, many more, many more scriptures. Hey, but like I always say, brothers and the few sisters, um, keep pushing, man. Keep holding on, okay? And, and the righteous women, you don't got to worry about this, man. Just like the righteous men, we don't have to worry about eating and, and, and so on and so forth. The righteous aqua, the few that are sincere and that's truly seeking the Lord and trying to be obedient and listening and learning and being quiet, you know, being humble like a woman is supposed to be, you know, you're going to be delivered, okay? First and foremost, your Yahweh Shemihah Shai more than likely is going to give you a righteous man, okay, to protect you in them times, all right? So like I always say, all we got to do is keep pushing, being obedient, you know, repentful, seeking the Lord sincerely, rehearsing the righteous acts, and we'll be good, all right? So keep pushing, man. Shalom. We almost out of here. Shalom. Wa abad babo.